So today, um, second game of today, we saw Thunder versus Sirens. Sirens had a, st a strong first half. Beth and Goodwin in at goal shooter was doing a really good job for them. Put up a lot of goals, had great availability, and the Sirens will be really happy with what they put out in that first half. Thunder, on the other hand, their attacking, their attacking lineup was always functioning pretty well for them. You can see the combination there of Malcolm, Cardwell and Mbrula, which we're very used to seeing in the Super League. All know each other's game really well and the connections were strong. For both teams, they were able to find the shooters with long ball at times. And Sirens did a good job of mixing up short ball with long ball in order to try and keep Thunder guessing. Thunder, though, won't be outdone. Berry Neal came on at goal attack in the second quarter. Did a good job of finding Mbrula, put up some shots herself. And it's nice to see those Thunder youngsters out there. Another Thunder youngster here, Lois Pearson, not, a, not afraid to shoot from a decent range out. And Thunder will be really happy that they managed to get all the combinations out. There we see Elliot McCormack coming out with an intercept, a little tip and chase down. So Thunder will be really happy, like I say, to get all the combinations out, see some young players out there playing in the Super League side. And most of these players, homegrown Thunder talent. And so very, very pleasing for Karen Gregg. Laura Malcolm, we mentioned her a bit in commentary, played all three centre court positions. There we see her at centre, she also she started at wing attack, played a bit of wing defence as well, did a great job for Thunder throughout and I think both Thunder and England will be very happy with the form and the confidence of Laura Malcolm there, just putting a long ball into Eleanor Cardwell. And she looks full of confidence heading into a possible January series of, against Jamaica for England. Siren stuck with Thunder for the most part of three quarters. We saw Neve McCall and Emma Barry enter the th um, Sirens shooting circle. Emma Barry offering a, a taller target for, for Sirens and Neve McCall running, running the front a lot of the time for Sirens. However, Thunder managed to turn over enough ball in that third quarter to, to come out leading it fairly comfortably. And towards the end of the game, they really started to pull away. There we see the height of Emma Barry paying dividends also, she can really shoot. She's not a, a tall shooter that just stands under the post. She, she's got a decent long shot on her. Um, but like I said, Thunder pretty much had an answer to everything Sirens threw at them today. I don't think they'll be especially happy with their first half performance, but they really kicked on through the gears in the second half and made sure that they came out with a fairly comfortable win in the end. Joyce and Vula, first time we've seen her in pre-season, had a really strong game. Um, and in the end, Thunder ran out comfortable winners, a 24-goal margin. 80 to 56.